Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today we're going to be grinding and lapping the exhaust valve on this Tecumseh engine that you find on a lot of the snow blowers. Um, the reason we're doing this today is this one is a little bit out of spec. It's a little bit long, so it's not seating on the, the valve seat, which is causing low compression. Uh, we actually replaced this one, but um, just switching it out with a new one, but the old one was was just too long um, and it was a little bit burnt some other issues with it so that's why we're replacing it but this one currently the specs on this engine are four to eight thousandths of an inch um, currently it's probably right about two I just tried a four it's probably two or three thousandths yeah, so I can get a two in there, so it's probably right about three. So there's a couple ways to do this. You can take it to your grinder, your bench grinder. Um, just be careful doing that so you don't take off too much. Um, this part is actually, it's obviously discontinued from Tecumseh, but I couldn't find it, you know, at any dealers, parts distributors. Tecumseh still has uh, parts being made for them, but um, this, is, this is one part that's not made. So I had to get a new old stock part off of somebody on eBay. Um, so you don't want to grind too much off of them and have to go chasing a new part. Uh, so be careful on your, your bench grinder. Um, you can take, you can take it to a, you know, somebody who has an actual va valve grinding machine. Um, those are kind of a, a lost art these days. Um, not a lot of people have them. Um, they're pretty expensive. Um, a lot of people just replace their engines as opposed to getting a lot of engine work done um, but this one I've actually got an old grinding stone um, I just take it to it where we're only a couple thousandths off I just take the bottom to it make a couple passes along that and then we'll recheck the spec and see where we're at just bear with me for a second while I just do a couple strokes on that and be right back So I don't know if you could see what I just did. Um, it obviously didn't take too long. Before we started, we were at probably uh, two and a half thousandths, maybe three thousandths. Uh, right now we're at a, a pretty loose four thousandths. Uh, so it is in spec, but as you can tell, it doesn't take much to take um, take some off of that. So be careful, you know, just going to town on these things. Um, you'll get out of spec really fast, you know. One thousandths of an inch is not very much at all. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit more off just because we're going to, it's the spec is four to eight thousandths. Um, by the time we lap the valve, that will drop you down, you know, could drop you down another thousandth. So um, I'm going to take just a little bit more off, um, ideally, so we don't have to go back and do this after we lap. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So right there, um, we're about five thousandths. Can't quite get the six in. Um, so I'm gonna stop there, see where the lapping gets us. Um, 
Obviously the spring's not attached. Um, so when you're doing this, just make sure to hold down the valve. Um, you don't want any skewed numbers by sticking your feeler gauge in, having the valve pop up because um, it's not being compressed by the spring. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, mo most accurate reading will be um, top dead center uh, on the compression stroke and uh, with the valve spring um, attached. So right there, like I said, um, super simple job. Um, just you got to be super precise. Um, just be super careful not to to go too far and damage parts, have to replace parts um, that are hard to find. So um, now we'll just lap this new valve in, um, get a, a good seat on there, and then we'll be good to go. So I use Permatex valve grinding compound. Um, you know, it's just kind of like a, a wet sand mixture type deal. Um, and it actually, the more, the more you lap it, it goes from a, what does it say here? It starts as a coarse 120 grit and then it grinds down to a fine 220. So this is kind of a, a fix all, uh, this has kind of got all your, all your sandpapers in one, if you will. Um, just put a little bit on there and you'll feel it too as you do it. Um, it'll be real rough and then the longer you do it, it gets a little bit smoother and that's kind of when you know you're getting to the end. So it says to put a little bit on the valve face. So make sure to put, cover the whole valve face. And this engine isn't, most of the time when I do these, the engine's torn down, I'm rebuilding the whole engine. I'm not doing that this time, so I don't want to make a too big of a mess because I'm not going to be able to wash out the engine. So try not to get too much on there um, to make a huge mess. If you're rebuilding the engine, doing this to both valves, not a big deal. You can wash the engine, um, make sure it's all out of there. The problem is this stuff will get down in between the valve guide and it'll just wear wear the parts out prematurely. So um, just get it on the valve face, put the valve back in. And then you get a valve lapper. Um, they make several different kinds, uh, sizes, excuse me, sizes of the suction cups. So depending on uh, what size valve you are, uh, most small engines, I use this one. Uh, most of the valves are about this size either one of those, um, but they do have a size above this that I also have just in case. Um, and then they obviously make bigger ones for cars or bigger valves. Um, so I'm gonna use this one. You just suction that on there and then like those old school helicopters that used to, to fly off like that, that's what you do just back and forth until you feel that uh, valve grind compound get much smoother you may have even be out, been able to hear it on there at first it was just really gritty um, and now it's a little bit smoother i'm not sure if you can hear that or not but I like that right there. So pull that out, make sure to get it all cleaned off. Like I said, you want to try and get all this stuff out of there as best you can. I'll clean it up a little bit more before I put it back together, but 
for the sake of the video. So now once you've got that all wrapped up, let's go back and double check our spec again. We're at a tight five, five and a five thousandths of an inch. So that's right in the, right in the, just shy of the middle of the spec for of four to eight thousandths. So we'll get this all hooked up and put back together and fire her up, make sure she runs and send her on her way. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips or anything like that, put them in the comments below and thank you for watching and have a great day.